Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Bronwyn, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I get asked all of the time how I style, what I wear to Disney, where I got a lot of my clothes from, so I thought it would be a good idea to show you all of the Disney shirts that are in my collection right now, where I got them from, and yeah. Just show you what I got. Part of this stems from the fact that I am just overflowing with Disney shirts at this point and I really need to get rid of some. So I feel like this video is gonna be my way to figure out like, okay, which ones do I really like? Which ones do I really wanna keep? Which ones have I just, they've served their purpose and they're ready to move on to somebody else. I keep looking down at the floor in front of me and seeing all of these shirts and we just need to go ahead and get started because Oh my gosh, it's a lot. The first thing we're gonna start with is small shops. I really don't have as many small shop shirts as I thought that I did, but the ones that I do have, I absolutely love, so I can't wait to share them with you. I also wanna go ahead and apologize that all of these shirts are probably gonna be very wrinkled. I have like separate tubs that I keep Disney shirts in like from the rest of my t-shirts, and a lot of them have been shoved in there so tightly because I'm running out of space. So a lot of them are very wrinkled, I'm so sorry. My favorite small shop, probably of all time, is Magical Cat Castle Embroidery is their Instagram. Magical Castle Company is their Etsy page. Everybody that I talk about, I'm gonna have linked down below, so definitely go and check them out. They did an entire, like, princess line of shirts. I guess it was recently-ish, like within the last, I guess, three months at this point. Um, but the first one that I have is this one. So this is the Cinderella-inspired one. And it says, bibbidi babbidi boo with a little fairy wand, which I love because I, um, as you know, I'm fairy godmother in training, so very relevant in my life. The Elsa inspired one from that collection is this one. So it says Into the Unknown and it has a bunch of little snowflakes. I have a really hard time finding Frozen shirts that I like, so very happy when they made this one because I love it. The last one that I have from them is this one. So it has my little monogram on the frocket and it has Elsa's crown. The next couple are from a shop called Pixie Supply Co. that is on Etsy. This was the shirt that I found that like made me fall in love with their whole company. So this one, it says, do as dreamers do. It's a super pretty like pastel pink. Um, I had gotten this to go to Disneyland because I was supposed to go to Disneyland and then coronavirus happened, but I'd gotten this for that. So hopefully one day you will see me in Disneyland in it. I wore to Epcot recently, so it's really cute. We've already decided. I also have this green one, which has pixie dusted on it. And I love the color of this shirt. It's like a I don't know, like a dusty gray green. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a very flattering color, I think. Maybe it's not, I think it is though. Last but not least, this is the newest one that I've gotten from her and it's this little rainbow Mickey that's embroidered on there. How cute is that? I am planning on wearing this one. I'm going to Animal Kingdom tomorrow. Uh, we will see when that vlog goes up, but I'm planning on wearing this shirt tomorrow, so I'm really excited because it's gonna be cute. Next is a shop that's called My Garsh, like Goofy, he says Garsh? That's what it is, cute, huh? <laughs> they, I don't believe are on Etsy. I think they just have a website. Regardless, it'll be linked down below, whichever it is. But the first is this one, which is their like logo tee. That's the name of their shop. This one, I was so excited about because y'all know Frozen's my favorite. Look at that. A little wandering Ogun's trading post and sauna. Ah, literally obsessed. I love the color of this one too. And I like that it's in white and it's just, it's pretty, even though it's like supposed to be Ogun, it's not just like brown. I don't know, I think it's really pretty. I like this one a lot. Along with the Frozen designs, we also have this one. Can we see the whole thing? There we go. It's like the Bohemian Rhapsody part of Lost in the Woods from Frozen 2. How fun is that? I really like the colors of this one too. So pretty, so fun, ugh, love it. I think one of the things I'm really drawn to with especially Disney shirts is I like them kind of simple. I say that and then I look at all of the shirts that I have and I feel like not a lot of them are simple, but I do really like the simple ones. So I love this one. It has all of the lands of Magic Kingdom and it's just like, cute little rainbow. I think this is so fun. I haven't gotten to wear this one yet because been blocked out of the parks and such, you know, but next time in Magic Kingdom, maybe I'll wear this one. The last one that I have from them is this one. It has the little bi rainbow on it and it says, remember who you are, the Lion King with some pixie dust. This was part of their pride collection that I kind of helped design a little bit. So that's really fun and cute and it's light pink. I love a light pink shirt, she's so fun. There's a company called My Oh My Supply Co that did a collaboration with the company Fantasy Feelings and this is one of the ones that they made. This one is long sleeved, which is fun and it was a Disney college program line shirt which I did three Disney college programs so I feel like this is very fitting. So it says Disney college program on the front and then on the back up at the top it says see you real soon. <laughs> so cute. I also, ah. Oh, I forgot, I have a sweatshirt from them also that I'll post a picture of, um, but I think it's at Caitlin's house, it's not here. So that makes it tricky, but yeah, really cute. 
This next one is one that I don't think I've honestly showed. I don't think I've worn it because I don't want to mess it up because I love it so much. But one of my friends, Sabrina, she hand embroidered me this little V-neck. And it has, this is, I guess now it's my old like channel intro. It has the castle and says once upon a brown under it. I'm so scared of messing this up. But I, oh my god, it's so cute and it was so sweet of her to make it for me. I love it. Next up are shirts that I have made. So periodically, I make and sell shirts. Um, I don't have like an ongoing shop. Every time I sell them, I just do it as pre-order. I order what people ordered and then I ship them out to everybody. So basically, if you miss it, you miss it and they're gone forever. I don't really bring them back. I have no plans right now to do any more shirts, but just follow me on Instagram because that's normally where I like advertise it. This is one that I made that Savannah actually bleach dyed for me because it was black and I don't love black shirts, so I don't know why I made this shirt black, but it is this one that's now bleach dyed, which is fun, and I want to cut it and make it cropped because then I'll be trendy, um, but it has the second star to the right and it says believe in magic at the top of it. Fun. This one is one of the first shirts I ever made, and I feel like you can very much tell, but I still like it. It says, and all our wishes will come true. Nice. This one was also one of the first ones, and I don't know why, but this one will always, like, just be one of my favorites. I just think it's really cute. I modeled it kind of after, like, the Disneyland sign, and it just says magic, and I just, uh, I don't know. I really like this one. It's, like, classic. This is another of mine. It says, today is a core memory day. I really don't like this shirt. I don't know why this is one of the designs that I chose to make because it all started, I used to make prints, like I would hand draw prints, um, and then I was like, ooh, why don't I turn some of these prints into t-shirts? This one was cute as a print. I don't love it as a t-shirt, but I have it. I truly don't think I've ever worn this shirt, but I'm not gonna get rid of it because I made it. Oh, this one is a favorite of mine for sure. It's got Marie and Toulouse and Berlioz, and it says everybody wants to be a cat. Aristocats is one of my all-time favorite movies. Marie is my favorite non like princess character. So this one, I really like this one. This is another favorite of mine. It just says have a magical day. I really like the colors of this shirt. I think it's nice. It matches everything well. Looks cute with ears. These ones are my three newest ones. So we have this one, which has nowhere to go but up with some balloons, which is a Mary Poppins Returns quote. This one was actually, I guess, thought up by Holly. She texted me one day and said, hey, can you make a shirt that says nowhere to go but up with balloons behind it? And I said, absolutely. Here it is. We've got this little Fantasmic inspired one and it says dream a fantastic dream. I really like the actual shirt that this one is on. It's like a gray and white tie dye. I think it's fun. And the last from that drop is this one, which says, show yourself, step into your power, and it has the four little elements behind it. Again, love Frozen, love Elsa. This one is definitely a favorite of mine. This one is the literal very first shirt that I made. When I was in college, I took a graphics class, and one of our assignments was that we screen printed our own shirts. So we like had to design it, we printed it to make the actual screen print. I literally inked it with my own two hands. And it is this one. It's got the castle and says, celebrate the magic. I really like this shirt. We were able to make up to five of them. So I made them for me and my family and also Amber, my best friend has one. Um, but yeah, I really like this one. This one's just, I feel like it's like classic Disney. And yeah, I literally made it with my own two hands. That's pretty freaking cool. This one I did not make. A family friend of ours made it, but me and my sisters and my mom wore these one time when they came and visited because we always do matching shirts. So it's this one's little heartbeat with a Mickey in it. Fun and sparkly, which I really like. Next up are shirts that are from Uniqlo. Uniqlo is actually one of my most favorite places to get Disney shirts because I think the quality of them is really good. They're always really soft and I'm very finicky about like materials. Um, and most shirts are under $15, which is a steal. This is one that I've had for a very long time and it is very well loved. I will never get rid of it because this is one of my favorite Disney shirts that I own and I'm really not sure why. It's just a little black and white striped one and it has a Mickey embroidered on the front of it. I just, ugh, I love this shirt, it's classic. When Frozen 2 came out, they did a Frozen line of shirts and I saw them on Instagram and I called up my friend Clancy and I said, we're getting in the car and going to Disney Springs right now. They have Frozen 2 shirts and I bought three of them. So the first is this one. It's got a little sketch of Elsa, which I really like. And then the text at the bottom says, believe in the journey, my destiny's calling, which really looks like it was made on Microsoft Word, so I don't love, but I really like Elsa on it, so it was worth it. This one I really love, but I don't love the color of it. I don't think brown is like the best look for me, 
but it's got a little drawing of Anna and Elsa and it says call from the north the answers are there waiting I don't know I'd like this design better I just wish it was a different colored shirt and then there's this one that has a little frocket that says true to myself with Anna Elsa and Olaf walking with some snowflakes this one Colleen gets mad every time I wear it because she wants it so bad but it's a little mini and daisy one talks about them like being best friends basically this one might have been like one of the first ones that I got from Uniqlo. I know I got this one during my first program. Um, and this one is also very well loved. It's got two little minis on it. Oh gosh, Uniqlo really just hits different. Look at this shirt. Look at that. That is a dream. Um, the only thing I don't like about this shirt is it's a women's fit. I don't love a women's fit shirt. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this. I like my shirts oversized. So basically all of my t-shirts are large, even though in like real clothes, I wear an extra small. Um, so this one is a, what size are you? This one's a medium, but it's a women's medium, so it still is like kind of fitted. Um, so I don't love that. I would like it better if it was, and I would wear it more if it was like a real normal t-shirt, but still so cute. This is about the one and only Animal Kingdom-ish shirt that I have. It's from their Lion King line, and it just has a little pocket that has like leopard, cheetah-ish. I don't know what animal that is. Some animal print on it, and it has a teeny tiny little lion above it. The next three are all ones that I just got recently. I got this Star Wars one, because if you didn't know, I'm a big Star Wars fan now, and I saw this one, it was like $5, so had to get it. I really like this one, I think it's fun. This one literally still has the tags on it. Um, but this one I got literally because it's about Fairy Godmother. It says, Fairy Godmother's Little Princess, a dream is a wish your heart makes with a little glass slipper. And then the back has Jacques and Gus. This one, that one I think I paid $7 for. This one I bought full price because, I don't know if many people know this about me, but Snow White is actually my favorite princess. Elsa's my favorite, like, character, and she's technically a queen, but like, growing up and everything, Snow White was always my favorite. So I saw this one and I was like, oh, that's cute and simple. It's just white and it has a little apple. But then on the back, look at that. It's like the, not the actual like logo, um, but it's just like a very like classic kind of Disney old font. And I really liked it. And it has a little synopsis of the movie and such. Ugh, had to have it. Haven't worn it yet. Love Snow White. Next are ones that I've accumulated over the years that are mostly from like Target and Walmart. I think a couple of them honestly were from Plato's Closet, but we're also from like Target or Walmart. The first is one that I actually don't know where it's from, but it's this little Bruni one. Um, technically, the Easter Bunny slash Caitlin gave it to me, and I think it is so flippin' cute. I'm obsessed with Bruni. I love that it's all like watercolored. Oh my god, he's so cute. This one I know I got from Target forever ago, and it has been very well loved. I think it's about time I retire this one because. She has served her time, but it's cute, classic little Mickey. I got this one from Walmart, and it's uh, the Rise of Skywalker shirt, which is my favorite Star Wars movie, so obviously I had to get the shirt. This one I got from Plato's Closet, but I'm pretty sure it's probably from like Target or Walmart. Um, this was the very first Star Wars shirt that I ever bought. I got it to wear to the Rise of Skywalker. Um, it's a Last Jedi shirt which The Last Jedi is not my favorite movie, but it has Rey front and center, so I had to get it. Oh, this shirt is a good one. I got this from the men's section at Target. Look at that. It says baddies, it has a bunch of villains. I think this one is so fun. I've got a couple tank tops too. I think, I honestly don't, this one might've been from Kohl's? I'm not sure. I think my mom got this one for all of us. We all have matching ones of it. But it's a little like, well, you can't tell. It's a little cold shoulder shirt, and it's just got a mini on the front of it. Very classic, fun and matching. This was another matching one from Target. It says Save the Mermaids, and it has Ariel on it, if you can see it. There we go, Save the Mermaids. And this one, which I also think is from Target a couple of years ago. Oh, I guess I have two Animal Kingdom shirts, because this one says Akuna Matata. I feel like there was a time that everybody that went to Animal Kingdom had this shirt on. And probably we will see if tomorrow I see people in it. Last but not least are all Disney Parks shirts. Um, I'll try and remember as I go through them, but a lot of them are from the parks or they're from Cast Connection or they're from the Disney stores. This one I know I got from the Disney store up in Maryland. I guess it was maybe like last summer, but I love this shirt. It's Peter Pan. It's like the very classic design, like a little movie poster design. So fun, love it. This shirt, everybody and their mother has, but 
I really like this one. I don't love yellow, but I just, it, I don't know, it just works with this one. I really like the colors of this shirt. Aw, me and Holly have matching ones of the 45th anniversary shirt. We got these at Cast Connection, but I did my first program during the 45th anniversary and I worked at Magic Kingdom. So I was very happy to find this as like a little commemoration. This one is from Shop Disney. It says smile from ear to ear and it's like styled after Minnie. My mom bought this one because we all have matching ones. This one I'm honestly not sure if it's a Parks one, if it's Target, Walmart, I really don't know. Um, it was Caitlin's and she doesn't like the neck of it so she said I could have it. But it's a, is it 20? 20 years, yeah. It's the 20th anniversary of Disney World shirts. So that's pretty cool, huh? This one is actually a kid's shirt. Um, they did a together again line for when the parks reopened. And this is the kid's one. Because I'm a child. This one I've had my eye on forever. And when cast members got 50% off last month, I told myself I had to have it. And it's this one. It's the little like welcome to Disney World sign that you go under basically. It says Walt Disney World where dreams come true. This one I also got very recently. And it says Walt Disney World. And it has a bunch of just like attractions around it. And then on the back it has a list of all of the attractions that are in Disney World. Starting with Cinderella Castle October 1st, 1971. To Star Wars Rise of the Resistance December 5th, 2019. Which is pretty cool. Oh, this one I had to have. I have the sweatshirt version of it also, and I don't know what this material is, but it is so soft. It just says Walt Disney World on it. I think it's a really pretty color. <sighs> Looks nice on me, right? I hope. This one, I had had my eye on forever, and then they discontinued it, but then I found it at Cast Connection, and it was the best day. It's the Frozen Ever After, like, tank top. I love this. It is very well loved, very well worn, and I will probably never get rid of it. This is another one that is so soft, but it's the Epcot shirt. It literally just has the Epcot logo. I got the long sleeve version, which I like. I remember I wanted, not that I wanted the short sleeve one, but they have a short sleeve and a long sleeve version. And I just felt like this one was a little bit different because so many of my shirts, basically all of my shirts are short sleeved. So I thought it would be nice to have one that was long sleeved. This shirt is very old. I think my sister got this for me during her CP, which was almost 10 years ago at this point. But this is like the first ever Elsa shirt that they made. It just says Elsa on it. It says Snow Queen. Y'all know Food & Wine is my favorite festival and me and my sisters have matching ones of this one. It says Taste Your Way Around the World. And on the back it has a list of all of the booths. I believe this one was from 2017. So it's been a couple years at this point, but I like this one. This one is actually a Disneyland shirt and I got it from the Disney store, but I think it was an outlet. Is there a difference between the Disney store and a Disney outlet? I don't know. But it's this one and it has like, it's basically like a blueprint of Sleeping Beauty Castle. It has the little like Disneyland D on it. They have a Disney World version of this one also, but I have the Disneyland one, which is kind of cool. This is another one that was from a Disney outlet um, that was used to be sold in the parks, but it says Hatter's Gonna Hat. Me and my family have matching ones of this. Last but not least is one that is new. It still has the tag, have not worn it, but I love this shirt. Look at that. Look at that. That is just classic Disney. I really like that a lot of the shirts that they have right now look like vintage. Like if I just saw this shirt out and about, I would think that it was from like 20 years ago, which I really like. I feel like it's just nice and classic, which is a nice little break from all the trends I feel like. Last but not least is spirit jerseys and sweatshirts. I'm gonna try and go through these fast because I know this video is probably already very, very long. I definitely don't have as many of these because I live in Florida, it's very hot. Also, their sweatshirts at Disney are pretty expensive. This first one is from Magical Castle Embroidery that I talked about in the beginning. Look at that. Oh, there we go. No, okay, there we go. It has Big Al on it. Hello, this is just a little quarter zip. They don't sell their quarter zips all the time, but since it's August now, I would assume they're probably gonna bring them back soon. So maybe you can get yourself a Big Al quarter zip. We can be twin sasses. This was the first spirit jersey I ever got. I'm very basic. It's the rose gold one. Just has the D. Walt Disney World on the back. Classic spirit jersey. This is the sweatshirt version of that t-shirt that I have. It says Walt Disney World down the side and a nice little like ombre. I really love this color. What color is this? Is it pink? Is it coral? I don't know, but it's pretty. I have never been to Disneyland, but I do have a Disneyland sweatshirt. Look how fun and cute that is. If somebody would take me to Disneyland, I could wear it there. I got this spirit jersey during the Christmas party this past year, and it looks the same as the other one. All the spirit jerseys look the same, but this one is fuzzy. Like, it literally feels like a blanket. I don't know if you... 
I don't know if you can like see the texture in that to tell. Oh, there we go. That it's very fuzzy. I've washed it a lot, so it's not as soft as it used to be, which makes me sad, but still so cozy. All right, we're almost there. Last two. This is one of their newer spirit jerseys, and it's this fun pink, blue, and purple tie dye. I think this one's really, really pretty, and I like that. I don't know if you can tell. Turn it around so you can see. Um, the text on it is also a little bit tie dyed, so I think that's really cool. Last but not least is this one. You may not be able to tell what it is just from looking at it because it just has a little rose gold crown on the front. But on the back, look at that. Bivity Bobbity Boutique. As I've said a billion times, you all know and you want to punch me in the face for saying it again, I work at the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique in Magic Kingdom. Um, so I have this spirit jersey from it. This one can only be purchased if you have a reservation at the boutique. Not anybody can just like walk in and buy it. But since I work there, you know, I have it. <laughs> so those are all of my Disney shirts. I want to show you the pile. I'll turn it around after I like close out the video and show you the pile that is on my floor right now because it's a little bit ridiculous and I really need to get rid of some of these. I just have such an emotional attachment to each and every one of them. I don't know if I can do it. Let me know if there are any small shops that you think I should check out because I'm always looking to expand my collection even though clearly I don't need to. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see y'all again real soon. Bye!